Hello, my name is Marcus and I am the developer of the WordPress Events Manager plugin. Let me start by saying thank you for your interest in the plugin and your support. This video is to help people with the upgrade from version 3 to 4.x. So uh, a lot of people are having problems with the updates and I've just realized that this is due to the automatic updates not firing the update script. This is something that used to be done in previous WordPress versions and has changed uh, recently in less than the past year. So I've not experienced this until today actually and I thought that it would be useful to help people with the, um, with the upgrade by making a video. So I'm going to walk you through this. I'm going to start with an older version of 3 because not everyone's got the latest version and is trying to jump straight to 4 and uh, you need to do some, uh, an installation of the latest 3 before jumping over to 4 so that your events are properly updated. So let me walk you through this. As you can see I've got 3.0.9 so I need to get 3.0.89 3.0.98 sorry as you can see down here so to get that I go to uh, the wordpress.org site to the events manager page and you can click on this link here other versions which will bring you this page here or just add download to the end of the URL I'm gonna go down here and download version 3.0.98 I've already done this so I won't do that this time around I'm gonna come here Deactivate Events Manager. Oh, just to show you, by the way, um, this is a version of Events Manager, an old, uh, an old version with the default events. So we go to the plugin and deactivate, delete. Do not worry, your events won't disappear. In fact, events are never deleted in this plugin. From three to four, there should be no changes to your events so if you freak out that your events are missing as many people have and prematurely deleted their events just take a second try this because your events do not get deleted by events manager thought I'd say that so we go to uh, add new install plugins I'm gonna choose the file I downloaded the zip file you don't need to unzip it and I'm going to install it. It says to activate the plugin. In this case, it does activate the plugin. And as you can see here, there's all these new notices, which means something has changed in the database. So I'm going to dismiss this message, dismiss this message. So now we're on the latest version, and we're in a place to start upgrading to 4.0. If you go here, you'll see nothing really has changed. Everything's looking OK. You can even go in and edit an event to prove it. Just add an S here. Bang, as you can see, all good. So now let's try and update to 4.x. Now, interestingly, at this point, you're going to see that it's going to say that it's deactivated the plugin and reactivated it. But funnily enough, this doesn't happen and for some reason the update script isn't fired I can show you this by if we go to from within your dashboard just um, go to options.php and you'll see this long list of um, all the settings in your double p underscore options table so I'm going to search for this version and you'll see it's still 3.097 uh, yet we're in version 4. So the update script hasn't fired. And a lot of people you uh, will probably come here and go, oh no, my events are disappeared, or you've got these yellow events, which means that they're not approved. Why is this? Because uh, Events Manager 4 is looking for a field in the database which doesn't exist. And it's saying, well, if it doesn't exist, I'm not going to approve these events. So what do we do to fix this? Very simple. We go here, deactivate, and reactivate. It'll take a sec to reactivate because it does a few small changes to the database. Again, it doesn't delete or move your events, it just adds a field or two to the tables. 
in all events I'd always recommend you um, you back up whether you're installing WordPress events manager or any other WordPress plugin so as you can see now again we've got a new sign here meaning that something has changed in the events uh, in the events plugin so there we go we're going to dismiss that and go here and as you can see everything is looking as it should do if you check the locations as well you'll notice that you've probably got a blank set of locations here and saying that no venues but if you look here there's three all locations which is the default three the reason that these haven't been automatically assigned to my locations is probably that this was these were created not probably but because these were created um, pre version 3.0.9 something and at that point we weren't assigning ownership to locations so they were unclaimed locations if I go here you'll see that there's no location owner but if I change that to this and save all of, well yeah our old events didn't have countries either so if I put in Ireland here and save updated and there we go so that's how you fix that I'm also going to show you how you can tell whether your database um, version number is in sync with uh, the number that I showed you earlier from the dbm underscore version on the options page if you go here to plugin editor if you don't have this you can just check the plugin file itself uh, on your website uh, on your FTP site go to events manager you want events manager dot php if you shut down just a little bit you'll run across this line here db uh, define em version 4.0.1 and that corresponds with the number that you should see over here 4.0.1 uh, 4.01 so um, and note that uh, here it needs to be a full number so the last the second dot is just simply omitted but that is the format of uh, the correct version number corresponding to this version this is also important to note because if you updated already from three point something to you know another three point something and then another four point something it might be that you haven't been updating your database and so you might have had a buggy events manager all along so uh, if you have been doing that and you need to revert back to install uh, revert back to your old version and then upgrade and stuff like that um, what you can do is quite simple is um, change that to the number that you want so for example you, you'd go to the file in the version that uh, you want to downgrade to to the same file and find that dbem version in capital letters and put that here you'll add that there install the uh, uh, plugin that you need to upgrade to reactivate and uh, events manager should take care of the rest and update that to the version you just upgraded to one more thing I think I should probably mention while I'm at it if you're updating some people also freak out because these some of these things go missing when you update I've seen this on occasion if you go here to user capabilities you need to make sure that this is all ticked for you this is how you control what users can and cannot do on WordPress uh, events manager if you have any other questions please ask in the forums I hope this tutorial helps you upgrade with uh, no more issues thanks for listening